welcome back to the mid quest part i am dr shivam and uh, this video basically designed for the ifm and here i am going to give you the latest information with everything which you have asked okay since after the croc examination i have got the many many questions many doubt regarding croc i mean ifm exam like uh, what is the eligibility criteria how to apply exam content and uh, how to prepare for the exam performance feedback even exam rules uh, including resources okay so i am just here trying to give you the best and latest information and it will be a compact one so you can just uh, start with the things and also i will give you the proper way and the plan how you should go for that exam right so let's begin basically as in my previous video i have told you ifm stands for the international foundation of medicine international foundation of medicine medicine basically it was a plan from the nbme and now what is the nbme actually nbme is in national board of medical examination of usa okay this nbme also conduct the exam very famous that is usmd okay it contains step 1 step 2 step 1 basic science examination and step 2 ck and cs clinical knowledge and clinical science and so here uh, basically what happened that in the uh, ifm examination there is a high quality exam right so they are supposed to be taken with the medical school and other organizations when they create this one so the more the previous the most important thing was that moment that medical school or college should take it i mean provide the all authority so it was for the uh, just uh, quality check program for the medical students but uh, what happened since last uh, like 3 year before that uh, what happened in the ukraine because you are studying in the ukraine so for you most important to learn in ukraine what happened that in the ukraine that it was implanted in 2017 okay in 2018 when result came so drastically all university in ukraine they were unable to qualify even qualify their students not not qualify their students right that uh, they should they had to score that minimum 602 marks like that but uh, unfortunately only three university in the ukraine they got the passing score ternopil bogomolets san denipur okay so this is what happened in the ukraine and then after that what happened this plan has been discarded for the ukraine medical college because what they said that moment like you have to qualify the crop one i mean sorry uh like uh, uh, what was the rule that moment like you have to qualify croc 1 and then you have to qualify ifm only then you can go for croc 2 this was the rule decided by the health ministry but due to huge number of failure they cancel that one okay now after that what happened that it doesn't mean that ifm has been cancelled it simply means that ifm is still being continued now the thing is that you have to apply for the ifm exam but it is not university responsibility okay not university responsibility or mandatory right so what does it mean that it simply means that you will have to do the process by yourself do document process by yourself now the thing is that for a student it become the dual like you now student become the pressurized how like he or she have to prepare for the exam as well and also apply for the exam so it is very important that you should have the good information latest information and also it should be the time compact time so it, it should not be the uh, time wasting okay now uh, before going through the uh, i mean any exam in the world when you start so you have few things in your mind 
or they always ask you that who like the first thing like how it occur, I mean how many times basically so when we say about the IFM conducted by the NVME it conducted twice in a year twice in a year that simply means a student can give it two times in a day two times in a year so now the next question is that what is the eligibility criteria now the eligibility criteria basically stand for the eligibility criteria that is when a person that uh, like uh, uh, if he or she or any kind of a student they are applying minimum two year minimum two year graduating in medical science in medical university okay then the next most important thing that you must be ECFMG certified actually this makes you uh, like a uh, very easy process okay ECFMG certification must be done actually if you have done this process so it is going to be the very helpful for you like uh, uh, like this one will be the you know like a very quick quick way for you to go to the exam what is this now ECFMG now ECFMG certification is something which is the common thing for the US assembly so if once you have done so you are prepared you are done for the IFM the same moment for the both I mean IFM the basic science examination and clinical science examination also you are done with the US assembly certifications as well step one and step two now uh, actually uh, what happened that uh, here the croc I mean sorry IFM exam is basically it is almost similar copy similar copy of the US only why because it also include two step okay the first one basic science examination and the second one is clinical science examination now the next question is that how to apply okay because uh, now you are done with that like this one you have to do how to apply and uh, what is the standard procedure you should apply before applying uh, I just I want to tell you about exam okay now about exam let's talk about something about exam now when we talk about the about exam so here it contain four and half hour of exam okay it will the multiple cho choice questions now in between them you will get the you will get the only 15 minute break actually uh, it is the most important it is a computer based test okay so it is not like a croc one you will have center and an uh, examiner no it is a computer based prometric center now here the uh, you will have the 15 minute break in between them but also what i suggest to most of the students to that 15 minute you can get additional how that it will be the tutorial you know the first one so the beginning tutorial if you escape and then you can get the 15 minute more so if i count both of them so you are going to get the 30 minutes of break it means you can take okay so how the question is going to be asked like uh, they are going to be basically in the two slot of 160 mcq 160 multiple choice questions okay they will be divided into the two part 60 okay 60 minute and uh, uh, then actually uh, they will have the like uh, basically two part that simply means you have the 80 questions right so uh, like 80 questions one part 80 question one parts so you will have the here 60 plus 60 minute okay and here 60 to plus 60 minute of two slot it is minute minute 
in this 60 uh, minute what you will have like the first this 80 questions right so in 60 minute you are going to have the 40 mcq each slot okay now this is the uh, like uh, uh, way like uh, you have to you i mean you will get it okay this is the exam how it conducted now the second thing the most important like uh, now you are supposed that you are the uh, you have given the crop one and uh, you are now in the fourth year fifth year you want to give the uh, ifm exam so let me make it very clear for you that if you have given the croc in us croc in uh, if you have given croc if you have given croc one so you can give the ifm both step the same year It is not compulsory to wait for the like uh, uh, like uh, uh, first and second one year and another year. So you can give the both in one same year. You can okay. This was the most uh, mostly the uh, uh, students asking question. That's why I'm telling you okay. Now the second one is that uh, there is not if you have given the crop one exam so there is no any proper sequence like uh, that doesn't mean that uh, if you on give the only bs basic science examination only then you can go to the uh, clinical science examination no you can change them as well like first you can go for the clinical science examination and then you can go for the basic science examination that simply means who is in the fifth year or the sixth year you can go for the your clinical subjects right and then you can go for the basic science examination even after qualifying the crop uh, step by that uh, IFM basic science examination right now the next thing like uh, this is the like uh, I have told you it is going to be the computer so basically it is known as CBT computer based test CBT now when we talk about the this CBT so what happened exactly with uh, this CBT like here uh, you will have a CBT exam access it's let's talk about the time okay in 2021 recent notice in 2021 now when we talk about the CBT Now when we talk about the CBT okay that is the computer based test so in 2021 latest information which I am going to tell you like there is a two period of time okay two period of time means what does it include like in the basics like this one two type two period okay the first one exam administration window exam administration window And the second one is here like the exam registration exam registration okay and the difference between them like uh, for the administration purpose your documents will be verified okay and exam registration that where you will book for the exam okay now this window in this year have the date I mean date that is from March 22 to May 28 so 22nd March to 28 May that simply means you will have around 66 to 67 days to verify your documents and everything to be arranged like you were officially uh, approved or certified for the exam right then after you have to go for the registration for the exam this is the one slot as uh, the twice in a uh, twice in a uh, like uh, in a year you can it can be given so it is the first one now when we talk uh, now when we talk about the second one second one is here somehow 23rd August 
to 5th November. So the next winter season you will have the 72 to 73 days around for the document verification. Okay. Now when we talk about the after this step is completed, the next step is there. What is that? You have to book your seat for the exam. Only after that you can go for the exam. So as the two periods are different, so therefore them for them the date is different. So it will complete it will start like 4th of January to 29th January. Okay that is for the first one but for the second slot if you are planning like uh, now which is the eligible you are like you can you can go for that so the exam booking will be from july 6th july to 30th july so if you go for the round figure like uh, you are going to give exam if i tell you honestly that this will be the period you can give in the month of january or you can give only in the month of July okay only this two only this two month you will have your exam 25 days in January and 25 days in July you can choose any one of your date whenever like you are having exam in another country suppose that you are going to the UK you are going to the Poland to get the exam so it's up to you okay you can shift the date according to you but it should be in between this period of time okay now this is what uh, you have to you have to do for the exam here all important information i told you okay one thing more i want to tell you like uh, when we talk about the examination charge like this one basic science examination will cost the 200 dollar and clinical science examination will cost the 300 dollar okay now let me give you the flow chart like uh, how you should do and uh, what uh, the in the conclusion what you should keep in mind while going through the like uh, while going through the this result or this kind of things the first is how okay first to confirm the period of you applying okay so i have given you this over here so from here First, you have to confirm that what is your plan. Suppose that uh, now it is July. Okay, you are planning to give the exam like uh, now it's po not possible for you. So you can give exam in the fourth J uh, Jan to the in the January month 2020. Okay, so you will have six months of preparation. So the most important, which I suggest to you, like this one is a good for you. If you are dedicated to study study uh, that person and you suppose yourself that you can you can do it very well. In six months, actually six months is enough time to prepare for the IFM exam. So I I recommend you strongly for this one. Okay. Now what you have to do, like uh, if uh, four January period, so 22nd March to 28 March the window will be open. Okay. Before that, what you can do, I'm telling you here, and uh, that moment what you have to do, that I'm going to tell you, right? So let's because it, it doesn't mean that it says that uh, or like 22nd of March to 28th of May so you will stop and you will wait for the March okay no it's not like that what you can do right now and what you should do here the first one like first confirm the period of your applying it's up to you like what you are going to do and uh, like uh, for the basic science examination and all these things now what will go uh, now the first step you have to make account and log into my NVME website my nvme website okay if you don't have any account to that website so go and create account okay here you create your account and once uh, that you create the account the second step the second step is that you will have you go to their dashboard and you have to purchase the exam purchase your exam okay only when you purchase then the next step is step will come so here you'll have to pay okay so for the basic science examination you'll have to pay 200 dollar for the clinical science examination you'll have to pay 300 dollar once you paid it is your master card visa credit card and after that only you will have the next step next step is that 
they will give you the form so you have to download that form it will be only applicable that time when you pay so that will download okay that is a status verification form that is the status verification form verification form okay now when you got the status verification form that is the important thing actually it is your paid one okay suppose that you have paid this one right now then uh, like uh, you have purchased that you have to download that now once you download then after that what you have to do you have to take it print out okay or you can send the pdf that to your medical your medical college send it to your send it to medical college now uh, what is the purpose of these things so actually they are verifying you are uh, you are a genuine student or not so uh, now what your medical university will do your medical college will do they will simply fill the actually that status form what it will include actually this status form will include your studentship letter from the university studentship letter which your university should make your academic transcript transcript and the third one like uh, there will be uh, your uh, if possible so it will be latin trans uh, translated version and uh, the things which is uh, like you know uh, like uh, which it will be given there like from your letter of letter from the dean okay these three documents and uh, probably last time it has been submitted so now what will be the next step like uh, this has been given so your university will send these documents where it is going to send it will be sent to the ecfmg okay so here your university officials will fill the form because you can't send that to the ecfmg okay and they will arrange all your documents and what they will do they will send it to the ecfmg okay and that is very important it must be sent before the deadline must be sent before deadline okay so before deadline that simply means the first one it is 30th april and the second one is the 29th october okay so if you are having plan according to the schedule that uh, on the june, june uh, january you have to go, you have to go i mean you have to give so before 30th of april it must be given okay like uh, it, it's like uh, one week before the exam so basically it, it should be one week before exam it must be submitted okay suppose that you are having plan to give uh, the january slot so that moment like it is for the january okay it is for the your i mean uh, before next one like it is june or some okay so uh, here it must be given that same moment now uh, what will happen the next step next step you will get the verification confirmation okay so from the ecfmg you will get the confirmation so after verification after verification you will receive a you will receive a test permit so you have to keep ready your passport and everything and so it will be given to you by email then what you have to do you have to simply go to the prometric website group prometric website insert the all details which will be already mentioned and after that you have to simply uh, choose your center time and pay the examination fee so the examination fee vary according to the location 
like uh, they usually take around like 300 500 like this kind of dollar so you have to go and you have to pay them and not go actually you have to pay them online and you can book the schedule the way i mean the uh, place all over the around all over the world wherever you want to give the exam okay so here basically i have given you the short information it is the latest information regarding the uh, ifm exam the how much questions will be there and how you have to proceed i have given you flow chart as well okay including your time limit and uh, here uh, information official brochure is also available like in, in the NVMe and if you still want uh, like some kinds of uh, simplification of all these things then you can go to the mid course parent and still if you have a doubt then you can uh, you can contact me you are most welcome I will try to clear your doubts and uh, so wish you all the best because uh, resources preparing for the exam will be in the next video okay thank you